Ivy Valentine subscribes to Mark Yoon, so should you. Enjoy your treat! Hey, what's up, guys? I know that it's not Friday, so it's not a normal day for a video, but we just had the Mortal Kombat 12 trailer drop, or as they're calling it, Mortal Kombat 1, uh, aptly named because I guess it is a reboot slash recontinuation of the saga. So let's actually watch the trailer. I'm going to shut up. Uh, hopefully I don't get copyright claimed for this, but I want you guys to see the full trailer and then we'll talk about it after. So I'll see you in a bit. It is time. Time to wake up to a new reality. To a blank canvas that I have painted in with warmth and peace. In my new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity or bloody strife. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. You can face each other. As sworn enemies. Or united as brothers. But a storm is brewing. And soon you will discover... That even in this new era, one constant remains. There is always something worth fighting for. You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. So, first of all, I want to say that, like, honestly, I wasn't really looking forward to much of this game uh, just because of the fact, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, uh, it's just because of the fact that, like, since they were supposed to work on Injustice 3, which I also really wasn't, like, I was mad on, but the fact that, like, Discovery Plus actually bought WB Games, who owns NetherRealm Studios, and the developer wasn't sure like uh, what was gonna come from that sale because the sale hasn't gone through yet. So they literally wanted to put their best foot forward and make a new Mortal Kombat game. So that's their biggest money maker uh, to present a better option of getting a better purchase price from Discovery Plus for the purchase of WB Games. So the fact that um, I looked at that as like the game was kind of be pushed out just for investors and it was gonna be rushed, but I mean, it seems like this game is coming up far along. Uh, we have a release date already for September 19th. There is also an open beta, which you can see the date here, because I'm going to put it from the end of the trailer. I forget what it was. But, uh, okay, so a couple things to talk about. Um, we'll get into the lore and all that stuff later in like later videos, but what I want to talk about today is just like how gorgeous the game looks, uh, how brutal the, <laughs> the fighting and fatalities look. I love the fact that they're throwing up uh, classic characters out there because we thought like this is during a great Kung Lao era. I thought this that, that they weren't going to have any of the original characters. I thought it was just going to be like the past characters and there's going to be variations or versions of which but it seems like almost an isekai type thing where the present day characters are being thrust into the past or maybe it's a giant time confuddlement thing. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to like speculate on that later. But Liu Kang comes down and he's basically saying like 
uh, you listen, you got a choice for like having peace uh, or like war and like there's always going to be like adversaries you have to overcome, hence Shang Tsung being shown up. So it's like, what are you gonna do? And then he like straight up is like, oh, you chose war and then like you're gonna go against a god, which is like him. So he just like rips the guy apart with like a fire and ice dragon uh, or fire and lightning dragon. I don't know, this looks, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it looks amazing. Uh, I'm still skeptical about like gameplay issues and stuff that I always have in the past. I'm not going to change that, but I have to admit I am a little bit more hyped just because of this trailer. Uh, before then, we had like a grain of sand explosion. I was like, I'm not even going to cover this because there's nothing to cover. But this has me super excited. Uh, I hope you're excited. Let me know in the comment section down below how excited you are, what you want to see from this game, what kind of expectations you have for this game, um, and any other thoughts that you might have. You can also bring it over to the Discord. But now we're going to get to last week's poll. And the poll for last week was, as is, what do you think about is the most important for Naruto Connections to get right? We have 31% of the vote going to Netcode, 7% of the, the vote going to Balance, uh, which I also put as gameplay, so I don't know why that got so low. But anyway, 37%, which was the overwhelming uh, majority at, for the roster, and 25% for content in general. So uh, if you want to get in on the action and be shown in uh, next week's poll, then go ahead and vote on the poll. There's one up right now. Also, I'd like to thank my uh, members. Uh, that would be SolarFlare95 and Atherin Dragon Eel. Uh, you guys help make the channel like worth it. And if you want to play video games with me or like join me on sessions or get art from me or whatever, uh, join the membership. And uh, that's it. That's the best way to support the channel. So as I always say, guys, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.